Hello and welcome back my dear viewers. Today we're looking at Mesa Ridge by Toll Brothers in Summerlin. This model is called Knoll. When we enter to a private courtyard we see a small fountain and also a place for Amazon to leave their packages that you can pick up through the garage so they're not sitting on the front porch. Toll Brothers won so many hearts because when you enter, you see this open space, incredible ceiling height, lots of wood, lots of accent walls. You cannot help but fall in love with the place. Let's start over here. This is a little wing where you can see a home automation system for security and lighting and things like that. And also a little office space overlooking to the west side. I think that the designers have done such an incredible job putting this together. I'm sure a lot of work has been done to make sure it flows and it all comes together. And a little half bathroom with an accent wall. You'll see that throughout this home, they really went overboard with the accent walls, but I'm here for it. They're amazing. A little one car garage, but it's closed. It's worth mentioning right here how smooth the walls are. Normally the standard practice for Vegas homes is the orange peel type drywall, but having this smooth wall adds even more to the appeal of simplicity and minimalism. This is the only guest suite bedroom downstairs. All other bedrooms are upstairs with its own full bathroom and exit to the backyard. How incredible this is as a guest suite because um, you can also park in that little garage and have kind of your own little corner. And that chandelier, ah, oh, so pretty. Everything in here just makes you live a total <laughs> different quality of life. It makes you, it makes you, you know, just aspire to other higher ground things than where you're currently at because you see what's possible and you're just walking in this luxury. It's also possible for anybody to walk through these model homes. So feel free to stop by or um, I can assist you also if you need really cool fridge too. Everything about this place is an upgrade um, because normally when you pay for a base price home, it doesn't come with all of this necessarily. Only if you buy this specific model home will it come with all of these upgrades. So the base price for this null, um, null model at Skyview Collection, mid-century modern exterior, Price starts at $1,577,995. That price does not include the lot. Lots start at $150,000 this month. They release one to two lots every 30 days. Oh my gosh, look at that pantry. That is a dream pantry. You must have it like perfectly organized with all the snacks. I feel like the pressure is on. A little mud room here as well with a gorgeous built-in for coats and extra storage space. And then right here to the right is like the most basic, <laughs> most basic shelving closet ever. But everything else about this house is pure luxury. This is a two-car garage, which we do not have access for. They probably keep it away from people hiding there and wanting to stay here overnight and pretend like they live here because it's irresistible. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Um, let's go back now. So if you were to pay almost 1.6 for the base price and then you need to bid on the lot, so you can't just offer the list price oftentimes. So say you put 200000 for the lot, so you're already out 1.8. And then in order for you to make it look more luxury, you need more upgrades. So at least a million dollars in upgrades will get you close to what this model home looks like. Not quite, but close if you pick... Um, beautiful wood flooring and things like that. Some upgrades that are in this model home are not possible to put in an actual home and they um, keep a list right here. But even if Toll Brothers couldn't build it, you could hire somebody else additionally. Uh, I was talking to the sales um, person here 
and we were thinking how much this house would go for in today's market and we think that as of right now if it was listed for sale it would probably be between four and five million um it will come for sale when they sell all the remaining lots which they s still have um maybe like 20 20 left and they release one to two per month so it's going to be a long road they might list this at the end of this year it might happen next year 2023 they started selling here in 2019 and i guess it was a little bit slow at the beginning but then when the pandemic hit 2020 people really want these big homes did i already mention that it's 4500 square feet like almost 4600 without the two square feet um really really big homes i mean five bedrooms um it's great for uh, multi-generational families living together it's great for having multiple offices within a home and just kind of having it all in just one structure um so to build something like this from the scratch will take about a year year and a half wait time and will cost roughly about two and a half million dollars not including the furniture but it is a luxury home and it's definitely not going to cost you know just the base price to get to where you feel so inspired and in love with every single detail there's also a um, clubhouse here with a pool and i believe it has a fitness center too um these right here are, are built as um kids bedrooms so whoever buys this house better have some kids because these are small bedrooms with built-ins that are glued pretty well uh, I mean, of course you can remodel, but how fun would this be? I mean, look at that bed. These are actually really, really tiny rooms, but they feel so big because, again, of that ceiling height. It's incredible. And I also like how separated the bedrooms are. They're not on top of each other. Everybody can have their own area, their own little sit-down computer um, desk area as well feels very open because that living uh, space extends all the way up with all the windows. So many windows here. Of course, right now, nobody lives here, so there's pretty much zero privacy. But with window treatments, I feel like it would still be pretty bright. This is the primary suite. So to the left, we have the bedroom. It's actually not a super, super huge bedroom. But with the way they designed it and the way they put little details, it feels perfectly fine nothing really to say about it it's just perfect the way it is because there's a bed and a really cool chandelier and also a sitting area and a balcony with a fireplace look how cute that is yeah definitely needs everything that you want to have i mean some <laughs> some luxury bedrooms uh, or primary suites in las vegas would be like 2000 square feet but i mean sometimes you just don't really need that so i like that it's smaller because it's more practical because i feel like oh my gosh if i lived at this home i would spend hours looking for my car keys i, I already do I, I already do it's just it's just such a waste now look at this closet and i love how they put little luxury bags to make it more lifestyle and to kind of show who this home truly belongs to um to a really uh luxury person who loves everything that's the best um and this is your full bathroom even the little details like soap that they use i mean what a great job they did it, it looks amazing everything about it and a super shower right here where literally 10 people at least uh <laughs> could be there because it has the rain overhead up there too this is a really funny part because it's the two thinking rooms located right opposite of each other and they removed all the doors from the hinges so that nobody would use the thinking room but if one is busy, you can use another one. Pretty good tab um, size-wise too. And then you do have some privacy because you are looking at your own house, not the neighbor's house. And another balcony. So you remember we had the balcony overlooking the east side. Oh my gosh, at night, it's so pretty seeing the strip. The strip view is just so cool with all the city lights. And another balcony for the more quiet and serene side. Now we'll go back down and take a look at the backyard, which is the last part of this home that we have yet to see.
It is a pretty simple backyard. If you look down at the floor, it's the tile for the outdoors and it's the wood for the indoors, but it kind of flows all together. Super tiny, super tiny pool. It's more, more like a plunge pool when you just uh, dive into when it's 115 degrees. But I don't feel like you really need that big of a pool because there's also a community pool here that you um, can use. It's pretty low maintenance here and it's just a great outdoor area anyways for social gatherings, not necessarily a pool party um beautiful space see how in las vegas if you have a big lot i mean this house takes up a lot of space but you're lucky to have even this size of a backyard there's no neighbor right behind you because there's a road that separates you from another collection still mesa ridge thank you so much for watching i actually have more videos coming please subscribe if you haven't yet and yeah thanks for watching we'll see you soon bye